On all properties, we do a good, pretty good job of going through and figuring out what the current debt is on the property. So walk me through that. Um, how do how do I integrate your property radar and then automate um, all of that together? Does that make sense? Yeah, and we could actually start with the highly appreciated homes, right? So that one, um, the data on homes, there's a couple of places where it's gonna be better in our system. Um, we have good estimated values on homes, whereas estimated values on commercial properties are very difficult without rental data. And that would be a difference between us and CoStar. You know, we're not trying to go and figure out the leases on a property, right? We're gonna have the core public records, but not the lease data. Mm -hmm. So not very good valuations on commercial properties, but good valuations on residential properties. On all properties, we do a good, pretty good job of going through and figuring out what the current debt is on the property. So really easy to say, you know, find me properties uh, that have, uh, you know, a, a value of Y and this much equity, right? Those high, highly appreciated properties where the folks have a lot of equity, where, you know, they might want to learn about the kind of options that you have because maybe they want to take some of that equity and redeploy it without having to pay out taxes, right? And, um, you know, uh, I, I am personally in that situation where my house has gone up a, a tremendous amount. Um, my kids are off to college and I could be, I'd be willing to downsize, but no way I'm going to downsize and pay the tax bill, right? So that's, the, uh, I'd be a perfect example of that. So super easy to set that criteria up in whatever area you want to market to and find those highly appreciated assets, find the equity, and then make a list. Now, you can either make that list kind of one time and export it, right? Not very automated. Um, and one of the things we do that's, that's more unique, though, is once you set that criteria up, anytime something new matches your criteria, we can automatically send it to your CRM, to your marketing automation system, to you know whatever else it is you have. If you want, you can just get a mobile notification on your phone, right? Click, click through the property details and call the owner, right? Because we do pull in phones and email addresses too for most owners. Wow. Okay. So that's much simpler than I, I even thought, right? So, so you just, you know, for example, we said an $8.3 million deal in Palo Alto and yeah. he had owned the property for 20 plus years and he had a huge gain above and beyond his 121 exclusion. And exactly, he wasn't going to sell in, until he found this. And so then he found it and he's like, oh my gosh, I've been in the business <laughs> for 30 years. And he's actually a top realtor as well with, with KW. And he's like, this, this is remarkable. And he goes, you should be telling everybody. I'm like, yeah. I, and I've got, and now the next layer is I, we got it. Now we got to dive in to, to target the marketing. Right. And so you set the criteria. We say, yeah, so you say own more than 10 years, mm -hmm. you know, more than say 4 million, $3 million in equity, whatever it is, you could actually make that list for all of California or, mm -hmm. you know, potentially, uh, we do require you to do one state at a time because doing these criteria across all 150, it just takes too long. Mm -hmm. And so, but you can do it, you know, in 10 states or one state, whatever you want. And then you can set up that integration to automatically push those into your CRM or whatever. So, you, so you that's the power right there, I want to say, right? Because they can set it and forget it. And it goes into the A into the CRM. And then from the CRM, you know, I guess you could tag it and say, here's a tag for a high-end primary home. And that tags an automation sequence of, it could be, I, could it be a mailer, a, a direct yeah. mail? Could it be, could it be voice, a, if you have voicemail drop? Or not, or, what's that? Yeah, a voicemail drop. You can, you know, if you've got a high volume of them and you maybe have a call center, you might throw it into a dialing system like a Mojo dialer, a voicemail drop system like um, Drop Cowboy or a Sly Broadcast, uh, direct mail. Uh, this single piece direct mail is pretty, pretty interesting, right? And that's something that, um, you know, most people that are used to doing kind of direct marketing and real estate, you have to put together a list. You need 500 and then you send a piece of direct mail, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of power though in this one-off uh, direct mail stuff. So you set up these lists, a new one gets added, boom, you know, one piece of direct mail gets sent off. And, and you know, there's companies like Lob and Print Genie and um, some really nice ones in like the handwritten notes. If you go to Zapier, 
uh, com. They're, they're a uh, catalog of integrations. Mm -hmm. So we integrate to Zapier and then any of the 2000 integrations Zapier has. Uh, but there's companies like Addressable that do really nice handwritten notes for, you know, at your, uh, for your target audience, I would think that would probably be the way to go. A little more expensive than a postcard, but a lot more personal. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely love it.